Hey, our friends, so we're going to be drawing a cockroach. Yeah, a really gross cockroach. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers, some paper, paper and something to color with. Yeah. All right. You ready to start? Yes. We're first going to draw a curve in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. And I think this is the line that separates the thorax and the abdomen. And we're going to draw mm, right. Yeah. Okay. Right about there. <laughs> we're going to draw a little curve. Good job. Then we're going to draw the top of this part of his body. We're going to draw a curve coming out of that, coming back up, curving back down, and then back in. I got a little wobbly. That's okay, right? Because yeah. it's natural. Then we're going to draw the head. We're going to draw a curve that comes out here, comes back in, it really just kind of sticks out. They look like they have this armor on them. The exoskeleton. Oh, I looked it up. This is actually, uh, it's not called the thorax. The thorax is down here, a little lower, and the abdomen is further down. We're mm -hmm. going to draw the whole thing together. And I think that's because their body is segmented more. So we're going to start here, and we're going to draw a big curve. It comes out uh, to the left a little bit more, and then down at the bottom, so right in middle of the body, we're going to come all the way down, and then we're going to curve back up and we're going to try to draw the same curve on the other side. It's okay if it doesn't look exactly the same. Mine's a little different. Wow, I like yours. Yes. I love how wide it is. That's awesome. Both of our drawings are looking really cool, even though they look different. Yeah. Because the most important thing is... To have fun. Yes, we say that a lot. And also the other important thing is... Is to practice. To practice, yeah. All right, let's... Keep going. All right. Okay. Well, we're going to draw the eyes. Let's draw a curve up here on the left, and we'll draw another curve on the right. All right, now let's draw their legs. We're going to draw a short U, upside down U, that comes out. Then we're going to draw a longer U, upside down U, that comes up, and then back in. And then let's draw the two little toes or spikes sticking out. <laughs> Let's do the same thing on the other side. We'll draw a small U, then we're going to draw a longer U coming out further, and then back in, and then the two little spikes. And remember, if you need extra time, you can pause the video. Let's draw the next leg. We're going to draw it coming out right here. This sideways U shape is a little thicker. This middle leg is uh, beefier than the first leg we drew. Then we're going to draw it bending down, Another U, long U, and skinny. And then this one's going to be really skinny. We're going to bend out further and then come back in. And then the two little hairy toes on the end. <laughs> so gross. Okay. And then let's repeat the same step over here. We're going to draw that thick sideways U. Then we'll draw a longer, skinnier U. And then a really skinny one coming out to the side. And then the two little claws. All right, now the back legs are the gross legs, the really gross legs. We're going to draw another sideways U, but this time it's Even this is bigger. The, yeah, beefier, really thick. Then we're going to draw a really long, and this U is even wider than the middle one that we drew. Then we're going to draw another really skinny one coming out further. And then the little toes at the end. Let's repeat the same thing over here. I like that you already added that first U, oh, yeah. first, first segment. We're going to draw that same thing. Really thick sideways U and then a longer skinnier, but this one's thicker than the one we did up here. Now, the other thing you can do with the legs too, you don't have to draw them exactly the same on both sides. Maybe he's crawling. Mm -hmm. you, you could change them. They don't even have to look like ours. All right, now let's draw that long segment that comes down even further, back in, and then the little toes. Now they've got these other, I don't know all of the names or different parts to the cockroach, but you could ask your parents to look it up. I'm sure they would <laughs> like to look at photos of cockroaches. Let's draw more parts to our cockroach. <laughs> we're going to draw this spike that comes out, almost looks like another leg. Yeah. And then we're going to draw the same little spike on the other side. 
Then let's draw, we'll draw two more little bumps down here at the end. All right, now what's our cockroach missing? <laughs> antennas. Yeah, antennas that are gonna go off our paper because they, that's- They're long. Yeah, they're really long. And that is one of the things grossest you can- Grossest things. Yeah, <laughs> grossest things. That's one of the reasons or ways you can really tell it's a co cockroach is by the antennas that are almost as long maybe even a little longer than the body. Now let's do one more thing. Let's add the wings that are tucked um, on the body. We're gonna start here in the middle and we're gonna draw a line that comes across and then curves into the bottom of the body. Yeah. Then let's come back up here. We're gonna add another curve right here on the end. And let's do the same thing. Let's draw that same curve on the other side. Now oh, it's, re it's really starting to look like a cockroach. Yeah. All right, then we're gonna add one more line right here. We're gonna curve down and then almost connect to the wing and then we're gonna curve back up right at the end. Now let's add that same curve, but because it's overlapping, we're just gonna draw part of it. It's gonna come like that and just stop. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our cockroach. Well, we're, we're not completely done. We still need to color him. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match the same color him. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We're using markers, biannual markers, to color our cockroach. The numbers that we're using, or the colors, Y529, this is the brown color that I've used. And we're also using this yellow color, Y315. If you want to use, if you have the same markers and want to use the same colors. We also have a darker brown that we're going to use a little later for some shading, Y648. You don't have to use markers if you don't want to. You can use whatever you have at home, like colored pencils or even crayons. Now, the first thing that we've done is color with our yellow and our brown this pattern. And to make it a little easier, you could just color the whole thing brown. Now that we're looking at the drawings and taking some time to color, I think that these top legs are a little too short. So let's draw, I'm gonna use switch to my Sharpie and I'm gonna add a little extra segment that comes out further. And that's okay that you have these little hairy things on here because we're gonna add more of those spiky hairs on the legs later. So let's extend out the legs so that they look a little longer and then let's keep coloring. We're using our darker brown to add more shading. I added a little shadow on each of the legs so that it looks like it's underneath the body. Then we're also trying to make the body, the body or the wings look transparent. So I used the medium brown to add a little shape right here and that makes it look like the leg is going underneath the wing. Uh. So you could add a little little brown right here and right here on the body. See that? Oh, yeah. It looks like it's going underneath or that the wings are transparent. I also use the dark brown to add extra shading up here on the top part of the body. Jack, you're doing a great job. Thank you. I love how it starts dark on the body, gets a little lighter and then really light where the yellow is. I'm gonna to switch to a colored pencil. I'm using a Prismacolor white colored pencil and we're gonna add highlights next. Let's start by adding the highlights to the wings. Right here, I'm gonna draw a white line, a really thin white line on this part of the wing. So you can go over it a couple more times to make it brighter. Then let's also add a white line on, this is where we added the Sharpie lines on the wings. And we could also add this white, the white highlight right here on the other wing that's going underneath the first one. Okay, now let's add the texture to the wings. This is gonna make it look really gross. So we'll start here and we're gonna draw a S curve. So it kind of curves one way and then curves the other way. Now we're gonna start in the same spot up here at the top of the wing and we're gonna draw another line right next to it, but it gets further away towards the bottom. So I'm gonna add a couple more. You guys can watch this and then pause and take time to add this texture to your cockroach, your drawing. So I'm gonna add more going the other way. Yeah, that's 
definitely looking really gross. <laughs> <laughs> you can also keep your white colored pencil sharp so that that highlight is really thin. I'm gonna add these lines over here on this wing too. Now we're gonna use our white colored pencil, except we're gonna hold it like this so that we're using the side of the lead. And we're gonna add a highlight right here on the top of the wing. This makes it so that it's a little softer, it's not as strong, but it also has some texture to it. Then we can use the side of our pencil up here on the top of the body. I'm gonna just go around the top so it's, it's that same upside down U shape. And you can press lighter as you get towards the bottom of this middle shape. So we're switching to the point so that we can put a really sharp highlight just on the top of the cockroach's head. And if you want, you could go into the eyes a little bit more. We're almost done. We need to make our drawing look more three-dimensional though. Let's switch to our CG03, our light gray, and we're gonna add a shadow. We'll start here on the foot and we're gonna draw, we're gonna try to make that same shape of the leg right below it. So it touches where the foot is, that's where it's the foot is on the ground, and then we get further away when we come to the body. Let's do the same thing on this side. We'll bend down, bend, and then bend back into the body. It already looks 3D, look yeah, at that. It does. All right, we're gonna fast forward again. Let's add shadows to each of the legs. You can also add a shadow underneath the body. So it gets thicker down here towards the very bottom, but then towards the top, you can go into the body. So it's really, that shadow gets thinner towards the top. The very last step to complete our drawing is we're gonna use our black colored pencil. And we're gonna add the gross little hairs that stick out on each side of the leg. Now this part we're gonna fast forward because there are a lot of spikes <laughs> sticking out. Jack, give me five. You are an amazing artist. I love your cockroach. Thank you. Did you have fun? <laughs> yes. It turned out super realistic and I love how three dimensional it looks. Remember, you guys can just keep this lesson simple by coloring it solid brown, but I love that the white colored pencil adds a really shiny highlight. To the wings. Yeah, to the wings. And also the gray for a shadow. Yeah, that looks really, that's one of my favorite parts. It makes it look like it's sticking out of the paper. Yeah, it's gonna crawl off. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your cockroach. Yes, I'm sure your drawings turned out really cool and super realistic. Yeah. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.